Welcome to the Off Track Garage, guys. Welcome back on the channel here. It's so good to see you back here. In today's video, we want to do a quick full low test on the inverters and on the three battery banks we have now in parallel. I just want to see what is the maximum current we can pull from each of the battery banks here under full load. How is the current distribution working between the three BMSs? I have plugged in the Tesla already. It is charging, maybe charging already. Yeah, it is charging with 16 amps, which is the maximum. So we are discharging the battery now with 3.7 kilowatts. So around 22, 23 amps from the overkill battery at the top. This is our largest capacity battery here in the shelf. Just remember, 304 ampere hours. The JKPMS delivers 20 amps at the moment, 21. And the, well, we cannot actually say because yeah, well, because the current is not accurate here in the Haltec BMS, so let's measure this manually. We've got 20 amps here as well. It shows only 16. Shame on you, Haltec. So as expected, the 304 ampere hour battery at the top delivers more power as the smaller capacity batteries in the middle and at the bottom shelf. And this is exactly what we have already found out when I did the extreme test with the 304 ampere hours in parallel with a 5 ampere hour battery only. And it works just fine. The battery with a higher capacity gives more energy and it also takes more energy while recharging. Okay, let's fire up some more load. So the generator at the top left is my 3 kilowatt inverter which feeds the MultiPlus on the right, the AC loads. This is how the whole system is set up. And let's turn on the pool pump as well. And now we are delivering 5 kilowatts. Car charging, pool pump is, and I'll turn on the irrigation pump as well. So there we go. Irrigation pump is running as well. This is basically 5.6 kilowatt now. Probably the maximum load I have at the moment on these inverters and system here. Well, I guess I can turn on some lights. So there we go, this is <laughs> including the lights now. Let's have a look at the BMSs. 33 amps, 35 amps from the 304 ampere hour battery, 28, 30 amps from the JK, and around 30 amps, I would say, as well, from the Heltec BMS at the bottom. So this is pretty much it, 30 amps. This is all we are pulling from the single battery banks at 5.7 kilowatts. That is insane. Such a low current. This is a bit over 0.1c now, which I'm pulling from these batteries. That is incredible. Okay, let me also turn off the solar charger because we are getting one kilowatt from the solar charger at the moment. I'll turn off all the single solar charge controllers quickly. Yeah, we just disconnect our pool fan system. And go into here, east roof off, west roof off, all the charge controllers are off. This should go to zero in a second. And then we should see a bit of an increase in the power we are pulling from each battery bank. Yeah, nothing from solar anymore, 5.7 kilowatts still delivering. And 40 amps from the 304 ampere hour battery. It says I can do this for eight hours on full power. That is incredible. 40 amps as well from the JK battery. And down here we have to measure manually again. 38 amps. Nice. So 38 amps instead of 30. We've got 40, 39 here, 40 amps over there. Perfect. All perfect balanced, right? Yeah, it says it here, 9 hours and 5 minutes. This one doesn't give us any estimation here. This one seven and a half hours at 5.6, 5.7 kilowatts. That is amazing. All right, guys, so far this quick video from today. I know this is very unusual for this channel here to have such a short video. I just wanted to share this information with you. 
This is under full load, 5.7 kilowatts with both inverters turned on, no solar coming in, and we are pulling 40 amps from each battery bank basically now. So this will do nothing to the cables. There will be no heat up, nothing. The current is so small. I mean, we have pulled 230 amps from each battery bank here with no problem at all. So 40, that is, that is nothing, that is nothing. Again, another test which I think needs to be done just to ensure everything is working as designed. They're all nicely calibrated and delivering roughly the same amount of energy now to the inverters. So great, this is out of the way as well. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support here on the channel. Thanks for all your donations. Everyone who has bought t-shirts, thank you very much for that. Until the next video guys, you stay charged, stay safe. And yeah, thanks again for watching. See you then, bye bye.